Welcome to another episode of the Sila Tavern AI Memory Summaries. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on the how to do the summaries of a chat log there. And let's focus on AI chat friend, local data, and at the end, the AI is going to know you personally. Uh, this is based on the new workflow. So uh, a reminder here, we have a lot of chat discussion, chat logs. We need to manage these, right? So beyond just the normal summary, there's a new discovery that I'm going to be sharing also in this episode. So let's get into it. The important thing of understanding uh, good data storing is to understand how the summary works and why are we doing the summaries? Why is it important to summarize a chat discussion there? In some, whoa, well, um, when you have a whole chat discussion there, you want to make sure that the AI understand what was the what was the discussion about, right? Because when you have that chunk of data there, uh, you want it to be able to extract that chunk of data and understand, oh, this is the information that was discussed. This is the information that's contained in this chunk there. So it's important to have the summary of a chat log. Otherwise, you'll have words out of context. You know, you if you have too much details there, and then when you extract the data, it's not going to understand what information it just extracted from the query, right? So when the AI is going to be looking for that data in the database, if it gets some data, but it doesn't get the rest of it, it's not going to, not going to understand uh, what, what we were talking about. So it's going to answer you in a, a strange manner because it doesn't have the context. So you can see here, just extraction of the raw text there. Uh, it's going to get confused about the whole the whole log there. It's important here to, when you have a chat uh, log there, that you summarize the whole chat log. And what you keep is the summary, right? So you take the whole chat log and you summarize it into a little chunk of information there. So when the, uh, we need to do the extraction there, when you ask question and it's gonna look for information, it has the context. But this is a bit tricky there. From my test, I noticed that, you know, when you do the query there, um, sometimes it has bits and pieces of information that's missing um, because the details are not there in the, in the summary. Uh, when you do a summary, you lose some details. So this is the new finding I'm, I'm, I'm testing recently, right? Which is combining both sides there, right? To have the raw chat log there and also have the summary combined together, right? So uh, with this, you have the, the best of both worlds. You have the little details, but you have the context also. So you can see here the raw chat log there. So bits of details while uh, on the bottom there, you have the summaries, you know, the chunk of summaries. So you have both, both, both cases, but to make things a bit more, more, more fair there, I mean, we're going to increase the amount of, uh, uh, of summarization and have a little bit less of the details there. So the context is, is a bit more on, on the focus side. So when you look at here, just to add things to make sure that the raw chat log there, the, the details has a bit of context, we're going to add a bit of padding. Okay, so uh, when you extract the, that information, that padding there ensures that, you know, it, it has some context of the information. It doesn't lose too much of the context there. When it extracts specific, uh, specific uh, data, specific uh, text in the raw chat log there. So I'll give you an example here. You have a, an important piece of information there in the, in the, in the chat log. Uh, if we just do the, you know, the, the, the detailed chunks there, it's going to split the, the information out there and you'll see it's missing some, some information in one of the, one of the chunks there, right? It just has part of it. But if you do a bit of the padding instead, you, you increase that, you know, that information in that, that chunk there. And hence you have the information of the, uh, of what you're missing there. And you can see here, you have multiple chunks that, that has that combination there of the padding. So we can see here, we have the summarization for good context uh, extraction there. You have the details because of the raw chat logs and plus the padding, you have a, an extra context for the details there. So all that combined together, it gives you a good balanced data. So when you're going to be querying your long-term memory there, it's going to give you good information memory there. 
based on the details and also on the summary. Okay, so let's give this a try by doing an example in five steps. Step number one, load the AI model. Number two, let's enter some data to the chat log. Number three, generate a summary of it. Number four, save in both raw logs and summaries. And finally, number five, let's test our AI memory. So let's see this in action, right? So um, loading as usual, uh, the AI model there. I'm just choosing one called uh, uh, Lone Striker V3. In here, I'm going to fast forward to see the log there. It, it logs the, uh, it loads the, uh, the AI into memory. We can see here the uh, whole AI, it's loaded. Now let's go into the, uh, the Silly Tavern to see this in, uh, in action. Now you can see we have the default uh, character there, Serafina. I'm connecting the, uh, the AI model with Silly Tavern. So we have the AI model loaded. And now we can um, look a bit into the uh, inspection of what was set. Important element here is the vector storage, right? So the vector storage has the information about the the storing of that of that uh, chunks and chunk vectorization there. So all that is there. Now let's look into the um, data bank, right? So the data bank right now it's empty. There is nothing in the data bank, which is as a first test, let's uh, use this uh, as an example there. So um, I'm going to answer the question there. Hi, Serafina. And what a relief and so on. I mean, it's just a normal discussion there. No, nothing special about this, uh, this section. But we want to see if uh, we ask it a specific question. It's going to do what we expect it to do from the uh, long-term memory. Now we're going to enter some, some information, right? We're going to chat with Serafina. We're going to say, hey, I like Conan books. And it responded, yes, Conan books. I know about it there. I'm going to tell it also that, you know, I like reading a lot, right? So uh, that's going to be one of our chat logs that we're going to be saving there so that we can um, pull on this later on once we save this into the database. So here, important, we do the summary, right? So this, we just had the little chat there. We do a summary. It's gonna give us that uh, information, but in a condensed manner, right? And this is what we're gonna be saving into our, our database there. So it mentions the different things, but the most important thing is, is that it mentions about the Conan books there, right? So this is the uh, key element there. Now we're gonna be copying this. Uh, as usual, opening a text file that we're going to be saving all these chunks of summary into the text file. Now, uh, like mentioned before, when you do the chat log there, you can remove all the all the new lines so that it, it uh, combines into one single chunk. A new line will be another chunk there. So, and we're going to add the, the date there, right? So a, a date in the front there just to uh, capture when it was done there. Now, uh, let's uh, do this again, but with a new chat, a new chat with uh, a new, new information, right? Uh, in this uh, new chat that we're going to be uh, uh, talking about uh, the Matrix movie, that we like the Matrix movie a lot there. And uh, that will ensure that we have a new, a new chunk of information. So this is kind of like a new, new day uh, discussion with the AI model there, or our AI friend. So here we go, there's the matrix movie data entry, and then we're gonna do again the summary, right? So important, the summary will ensure that we have all that information, but in a, a condensed version. We're copying that data, we're gonna open again the uh, text file, paste it in there, and then removing all the uh, all the new lines. And even we're gonna remove the, the the part that it's a bit too, too much information there, we'll just keep the, uh, the basic information and then putting that all together and we're gonna we added the date and this is the important part that we're gonna look for the Conan um, information and we're gonna be removing that information we're gonna removing the fact that we mentioned Conan there this is just as a test to showcase that you know the Conan information is in the raw chat log there 
but it is not here in the summary, right? So the summary obviously is going to be losing some information. Here we're just forcing the, the loss of information there, right? So in, in our, our uh, memory of uh, summaries there, there won't be Conan being mentioned. All right, so let's go here and save the, the raw chat log, right? So this is all the chat logs that we have there. And we're going to be ex uh, saving these into text file there, right? So you can see here all every chat information that you've done with Sealy Tavern, you can have that chat history and you can export it, right? So here, by clicking that button there, you're saving that, uh, that raw chat, or the whole chat information into a file. So the two last one, I just saved it there. So we can see here, we're going to... And just to a good organization, we're going to open a uh, create a new folder and we're going to be pasting those uh, uh, raw text file right into that folder so that it's going to be easy to uh, to manage. And so you can like, see an example here, that whole chat log, right? This one, you don't have to do anything. I'm just doing a, a, a search to see uh, that that uh, information being displayed there, right? Yeah, it was the second one. The first one didn't have the Conan mentions here. This is the second one here. It has the Conan mention. So again, we have that Conan book uh, information into the raw chat log, but not in the summaries. So this is uh, where we're going to be combining both to see if the combination of the raw chat log, which has all the details, but could have problem with context, uh, while having the summaries uh, has the right context, but could be losing some information is combining both giving us the, the, the a good balance of data when we uh, discuss with our AI there for the long-term memory. So now again, we do a little test. Do you know which movie do I like, right? And right now it should know. Uh, Serafina should not know. It says uh, Finding Nemo, right? So it, it should not know because I didn't give it any of the, the information, any of the memories there, right? And uh, I'm asking Serafina, do you know what book that I'd like to read? And again, it gives some some random information there because it just doesn't know. It doesn't have that memory there, right? And if we look into the the details there, I mean, there, there's nothing in here. It's just basic information about the character. The information about Kona, about the matrix is not there. So let's uh, let's look into the uh, the uh, uh, bank data, right? So in here, we're going to be uh in fact let's not add the uh the data bank yet let's add it into the um in fact let's remove everything right let's remove everything and just start adding as the attachment okay the attachment of the 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 summary memory okay so it's important to add it as an attachment because attachment has a different setting and data bank has a different setting and that's going to help us uh, balance it out there. Give, tell it, use more of the summary and use less of the raw chat log, right? So you can see here when you have the uh, the file attachment, now the information is there, right? You can wait for it to uh, to vectorize that, so to, to, to convert that into some uh, vector information data there. And now you can see it does mention the matrix. All right, so the matrix we mentioned because it has that information. The server memories in there, it's the different summaries chunk has the matrix information. But if I asked it about the book, would it know? Would it know about Conan? No, it does not know about Conan because that attachment, which is the summaries, does not have the Conan information there. So knowing that the summary is a good context uh, uh, data memory, but does not have the details. I mean, if you just have a bunch of summaries there, but you're losing all the details, that could be a big, a big issue, right? So you can see here that all the summary there does not have Conan mentioned. So now what we're gonna do, um, again, we're gonna look at the details here, but we're gonna be uh, opening the data bank and we're gonna be adding the chat, the raw chat log there, right? So that, has the details. It has all the details of, of our, our, our discussions there. So it does mention about Conan, but this has a bit more hard time regarding the cut, the, the context, right? So the, the summary is going to cover for that there, which from the attachment. 
So now let's uh, let's try to ask it again. Do you know which book I like to read? And if I run it there, it's it's gonna vectorize that the the raw chat log. For, um, skipping fast, and there you go. It mentions the the Conan book because it has the raw chat log, right? So uh, raw chat log plus the uh, summary memory chunk there combined together gives you a good balanced data regarding the uh, uh, memories there, right? So if we look at the details there, see you have the whole chat log, but it, it extracted a pieces of the chat log, right? Not the whole chat log, pieces, but with some padding, right? So pieces with padding. And it has mentioned here about the, the books and the, the Conan books, right? In the raw chat log. So we know that. We know it's there. But if I, I uh, drag down a bit more, and uh, we can see there... Um, yeah, right there. You can see there. There's some uh, some of the the summary memories, right? So the summary memory is there, and the raw chat log is there also. So you have both side uh, to have good information when you talk to your uh, your AI model there. So let's uh, do a quick connecting the dots there, right? So you have the query stack, right? So you have all that questioning about your AI there. You have the summary. Right, so the summary here is just all your chat there. You do a little summary of it, and then you save into a file. Right, you you save into a big text file there. Now in this section there, it's here. Right, the chunk size, how how big of your chunk is your summary, and how many summary are you extracting? In this case, forty four. Right, so you're extracting more of the summaries there. Um, in the raw chat log here on the top here, uh, you have that full text, full log. And then you have to have to save and export these these raw log, log files into text file there. You save into a folder, and then you add them to your data bank. You use the data bank because you have a, a different setting on the bottom there, right? The data bank files there. You can use the same chat size, uh, ch chunk size, but in here you reduce the retreat 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 chunk, right? The chunk will be smaller in here because you want details, but not not too much to overpower your your, your summary and here you have the overlap also you know the padding there that that's the the uh, the overlap percentage right so you give it a little in my case i put 10 percent so that you have a bit of uh, information there okay so we reached the end there a little bonus section right i mean um, li i like to share my uh, my stable diffusion image there so this is the same as the background you have the a lot of uh, other image i've been uh, generating using um, one of the um of the uh, the model that has a lot of water in there so it gives out a lot of uh, uh, nice photo regarding models with water uh, element so that's pretty much it thank you very much for looking to this uh, this uh, summarization step with me there and stay tuned for the next one which is uh, more detail regarding the how do we extract information how do we best efficiently extract information there thank you very much